So my name is Aaron Overholser, and uh, I farm here in Dark County, Ohio. Our uh, nearest town is Bradford. We're between uh, Versailles and Bradford here. And uh, we run a corn and soybean operation. When I say we, it's my wife and I and my dad and my mom. So I'm Taylor Dill. I am the Ag and Natural Resources Educator for Dark County, which happens to also be my home county and the county I grew up in. We worked with our previous Ohio State Extension agent, Sam Custer. And now we've been happy to start working with Taylor Dill as she's taken over the position as the county agent here. So the trials that we've done, uh, my dad and I have both worked with uh, Sam and Taylor. We both enjoy getting to try new things and getting to see you know, how different uh, practices or different products might work on our farm. So it's, it's been a collaboration with all of us really getting to work with our extension agents. My predecessor, Sam, was very involved in eFields since eFields started. So I kind of got adopted into it, which I'm very happy to do. I really enjoy research a lot. You know, I'll call Taylor up and if I have a question of something on our farm and uh, I'll say, what do you think of this or what are you seeing out there? Um, I might shoot her a text. Um, she also emails me quite often. So she'll send a, an update with something that's going on in our area or uh, maybe a meeting that's coming up. So it's a little bit of everything. On-farm research is really important for that step in research and also it's one of the easiest ways to actually show farmers a new production practice. And we were pretty excited about it because of the, the fact that it's a third party, you know, Ohio State doesn't have any incentive to try to push a product or a practice on us, an unbiased opinion. We've done a lot of trials on the farm. Uh, we've done corn and soybean uh, populations and so that's been really interesting. We've done uh, nitrogen rate studies on corn. We did a study with uh, trying different starter fertilizers on our planter and corn. I have many different projects going on in Dark County. One of them is a manure side dress research, and then I also have a lot of uh, soybean research, one of them being an improved system versus um, our standard system that we've been using and uh, soybean population as well. So the way the trials work on our farm uh, usually we'll sit down ahead of the growing season, so maybe over the winter or early spring, and we'll have a little meeting with our extension agent, Taylor, and we'll go over what trials we might want to do for the year. So then uh, the next step, once we've decided what we want to do, is how do we want to do it? And so we'll work with Taylor to try to lay out a, a plan for what the plot might look like. We might talk about what field it needs to be in, what hybrid or variety we might want to use, or what product, you know, depending on what we're doing. And I'll just shoot Taylor a text or give her a call, say, hey, come on out, we're gonna, we're gonna put this plot in. And so I'll be in the field working maybe when she pulls up and we'll start putting flags out and, and do the research. And it's really, it's not a bothersome, not a bothersome thing to do at all. Anytime you're trying something new or trying to learn something, you're gonna have uh, benefits and risks involved. Uh, of course, the benefits have been uh, changes that we've made in our, in our operation. I would tell uh, an educator that hasn't been involved yet, it helps your interpersonal relationships with your producers. It really lets them know that you care about them, you care about their production and helping them improve their actual day-to-day -day life. I think the, the expertise that they bring in doing a, a solid scientific experiment uh, is very valuable. 